Hey, welcome everyone to Apple iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over through Jamp Now, uh, which is basically the personal kind of version of MDM deployment versus Jamp Pro, which is more for enterprise school systems and so forth. Uh, so today we're going to go over through Jamp Now and we're going to go through the overviews of Blueprints. Blueprints are basically how you want your device to be image restricted, high security, disable everything. Uh, like for an example, if your kid is grounded, uh, you want uh, Jamp now to deploy their device and you can restrict everything. They would have to come to you each and every time. Oh, can I get this app? Can I do this? Why? Why? Etc. Etc. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have and we're going to go through the overview of what templates that Jamp now has. So we're going to go ahead and open this. I don't know what the actual direct login is, so we're just going to say Jamp now login. There it is, login.jampfile.com. All right, then we're gonna log into my account. So should just be right there. It's gonna ask my Google Authenticator, which is pretty cool. I don't normally use this, but it's very secure because it changes like every 10 seconds or so. All right, so I'm logged into my device, uh, my account. So here is my daughter's iPhone 8 Plus. It just pops it up. I didn't change this, this comes up automatically. This is coming from the settings to under the about section. Uh, and then here is the blueprint that I'm using. So I have a lot of restrictions because she's grounded. She needs to ask for permission to apps. I have to deploy the app through Jamp now. Uh, she cannot access the app store, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So for an example, let's go to blueprints. So we're gonna go to blueprints. These are, some of these are by default. The default ones by Jamp now is admin. The other one is class one. The other one uh, is teacher. Uh, the other four here in the center are the ones that I've created and I've been playing around with. Um, so if you go to, you can either go create new blueprint and just like this one here, iPad Pro LTE, iPhone LTE, Grounded, and Glowcar, I created these from scratch and I can play with as many settings I want or don't do as many settings at all. Uh, but you can also do Jamp Now's recommended for templates. So their templates is, is once we select this, you can go ahead and expand. So it's because your industry is in education or higher education. So basically when you create your account, uh, you can pick what kind of industry you're in. You can be in higher education, you can be in construction, you can be in technology, you can be, I don't know, uh, a home nanny, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but again, you don't have to follow these templates. These are just something that they recommend. Uh, you can also select on show more recommendations here in the bottom center. And then it comes up with blueprints uh, here, like con here's construction, here's consumers, uh, here's K to 12, here's a uh, field sales, field service team, government, healthcare, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes a little bit more uh, restaurant, retail. So like if you did restaurant, so like say your restaurant had the uh, mobile devices as your POS system to enter food orders. You can restrict those devices as well. But again, these are pre-designed templates from Jamp Now. You can use these or just definitely create your own. So on the top right here where it says change my industry, you can select this. Mine is selected under education, higher education. You can change it and you have any of these other ones. I can go ahead and change it. And what happens is, let me get back to my blueprints and get back to a template, show recommendations. So all those drop downs under change my industry is basically all of these, advertising, construction. So it's basically the same thing. So you can either change the industry or select show my, show my recommendations and then you can select one of these. Or, uh, which I did, is gone ahead to create a new blueprint. So let's go ahead and create one from scratch even though I have these already set up. This one here, iPad Pro LT, has no restrictions at all. So we can use this one or the iPhone LTE. So we're gonna go ahead and click Create New Blueprint. Uh, you name it whatever you want. Uh, we'll just, uh, let's see, we'll just call it uh, iPad Pro. Um, my daughter has a 12.9 inch, I think that's 12.9 inch uh, LTE. Uh, it was like the first gen. Um, then detail description, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
You can call it grounded. You can call whatever it is you want to call it. So we'll just leave it as 12.9. Description, we'll just put in here a description uh, note. So you, then you can be able to see where that is. Now it says here, private, not visible for open enrollment. So when you enroll a device, <clears throat> open enrollment only allows, you can set a certain time frame for open enrollment. When devices can be enrolled, uh, you can select private, so it's not visible. Uh, but uh, you're basically going through the whole same process. You're basically uh, logging into a specific website. You're putting the password. You're selecting a certain blueprint uh, on that actual iOS device, uh, macOS device. So we're not going to really do that. So we're going to go ahead and say blueprint. And then this is my blueprint. So here's description notes. So you can put here grounded or uh, on travel or um, could be like an office device, etc. So here's devices. There are no devices in here. You can add a device and I can show you that in my next video on how to add a device and enroll it in the process. And then you can select on apps. Here are apps. You can select on add an app and then you can actually add an app from the Apple Store through that is authorized through your account. Uh, and then you feel free to check my other video on how to do that in creating an APN account which authorizes Jamf Now to download apps through your account. But it's only you doing this. There's no one else has access to your account because you're the only one that has the Apple ID and password to that account. Um, so then you have under security. You can do a require password, require password, or device on devices, password policies, etc. So you can enable this, and then when you enable it, now you get a whole selection, like require complex passcode, require alphanumeric, uh, minimum password length, uh, minimum symbols, etc., etc., etc. You have many different options here. You have also enable file vault. Again, this is just for Mac, as it states here, Mac only. Okay, and then once you select your savings or your settings immediately, uh, whatever the passcode length is, you can even have your kids type in a 16 digit passcode length. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> uh, you know, they'll probably be kind of annoyed about that. But uh, then you save your security settings, those settings will be saved. You can also do email. So you can create, uh, like if they need email on their account, like maybe their Google account, their iCloud account, uh, their Microsoft account, you can select this and then put in the information. If you know the IMAP, the, the pop signature that comes to incoming and outgoing servers for your email, that's what that is, uh, or your exchange through work, you can set it up through this so that when they power on their cell phone or iPad, uh, it's set to go there's really no configuration needed and it's ready to, to be used. And then you have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, this is basically your Wi-Fi that's in your house or maybe in uh, your business establishment or so forth. As long as you know the SSID and the password and the encryption. The encryption is WEP, WPA2, uh, WPA2 Enterprise, or there's WPA Shared. You know, if you know what specific encryption is, you can create that from scratch, put it in there so that when this profile, um, not this profile, let me rephrase that, when this device is enrolled into your jam, now you can say select iPad Pro 12.9 inch LTE, and then once you enroll that device, it will start changing all the settings, it will start deploying the Wi-Fi, put in any kind of restrictions you have onto the device. So like here, the following restrictions are only supported by iOS devices. Some restrictions require the device to be supervised. To be supervised is basically, it's owned by a DEP. Uh, it's owned by the school institution or a company. Uh, when they purchase their Apple products, it goes to a DEP, which is the device enrollment program. So basically once you power on that iOS device, it automatically gets configured. Well, as a personal use, we don't have access to DEP unless you're using it using this account as your business and you may have three devices, uh, or we'll just say you have one device or a thousand devices and you can use Jamf now. But if you're having probably more than, I would say, 100 devices, 200 devices, then I would rather you may have the funds available to purchase Jamf Pro which does this, 
but in a more advanced level. And with Jam Pro, um, you can manage a whole bunch of additional options. So we can go ahead and continue. Here's restrictions. You can enable and manage open in. You can disable the your kid's camera or your work uh, employee, your salespeople, they, they don't need cameras. Or maybe they do because they need to take pictures. But you can have them, you can disable Siri. Yeah, sure. You know, they don't need Siri when they're they're doing sales on the floor or so forth. They can use their fingers, do the search and so forth. I have disabled Siri on my daughter's phone under that blueprint. Um, and then disable screenshots, iCloud backup, iCloud keychain. Uh, you can do pretty much all this. Here it says supervised devices only. Under APN, the devices are not supervised because it's not done through the DEP. But once you have it, the device enrolled, you can actually disable deleting apps. You can enable this option. So, and then there's a whole bunch of more options here. You can disable, disable, explicit content in iTunes, etc. Uh, here, single app mode. Uh, single app mode is pretty much only if you're going to be using it, the tablet and say there's a sign in registration for a school system or maybe at your company where someone comes in to visit an employee or so forth and you want it to stay at a specific website or a specific app and they will just log in with the username and password and so forth like if you visit an auto show and you know how the auto show has a certain screen or app they're using you're entering all their information but you can't get out of it you can't quit from it or so forth that's single app mode and basically you can remotely say, I just want this app to be running and that's it. Um, and then wallpaper, you can make sure you can choose a wallpaper if you want. You can use choose a lock wallpaper. So when your kids or the business or the sales or the auto show or anywhere else, they want to change their own wallpaper or maybe some sneaky little kid or adult comes in and they want to change the wallpaper to profanity, something adult, something not appropriate. You know, uh, with this, it's set hard-coded into the device. And then you can go back into your Jam Pro under Blueprints for that specific Blueprint for those devices, and you can change the wallpaper to something else. So they will never be able to change it. They will not have an option to try to change it. Um, but of course, everybody tries to find a way. Okay, so that's pretty much it, an overview of how to do blueprints. Uh, in my next video, I can go over through the process of how the blueprint actually works, all the specific options that I've selected. For an example, is grounded iPhone 2018, but I can go ahead and start uh, with a new blueprint, and then I can walk you through that process. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video with uh, Jamp Now on my iOS Genius YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe. If you like this video, put in your comments down below. What else do you want to see under Jamp Now? What else can you do? Uh, deployment, software install, removal, uh, you name it. You're looking at your iOS device. Tell me what it is you want to restrict or have someone not do or do. Or someone for your business, you want to have it restricted in a certain way. Thank you for visiting iOS Genius on the YouTube channel and hope to see you in the next video.